Does he need a move? Martial. Martial. Yeah, for me. Um, definitely for the club's point of view as well. I feel that Manchester United need consistent players. You know, Martial would be a 10 out of 10 one game. Next game, he'd be maybe a 0 out of 10. When, when he's on form, though, he's quality. Said, but, but not enough. Like dropping for him up. <laughs> but, but not enough, though, Al. You know, sometimes he'd be like, he just wouldn't be interested, wouldn't be tracking back, wouldn't be um, getting past players. And Manchester United need players that are consistent and he it doesn't look happy yeah he just looks always like I don't know just I just don't think where Manchester United want to be heading then they need players in there that aren't giving 100% and you hear about Ranić saying that he refused mm-hmm. to to play I don't that see a manager stranger. I don't see a manager making that up to be honest but well, we can't f- make that up. Yeah. Ali 50 million quid he cost back in 2015 50 mil 5-0 I mean, it's an awful lot of money. Has he been value for it? No, he's, he, you, you got to see he's not. It's not it? his fault. It was fifty mil, though, is it? No, you know, of course no. it's not. I didn't but see. But see, you know, you <clears> think uh, Dwight York playing and smiling all the time. Wasn't That's what I love. Yeah, I love it. You know, uh, there's nothing, I, and I keep getting on about nothing it. Nothing better than scoring a goal. Oh man, and the best in the business, Al. You know better than me was Kenny, man. <sighs> and Kenny's face just lit up the yeah, place. Yeah. Don't just, get me wrong. As a centre forward, the three of us have been there. If things are not going well and they're on your back, it's a lonely, yeah. lonely of course time, it is. isn't it? Yeah. Of course it is. I mean, you get one. I understand it totally when you, you get went one. two games out of when, you, when you get one. <laughs> when you know you what? Get to, one. to be fair, though, Al, Al, Ali, I went through um, a spell where I hadn't scored for a while and I was getting pelters, you know, off the fans, yeah. the, the home fans. And I remember what, one time when I scored finally after uh, four years, um, I was sort of like not happy. Because you know you're getting pelters, you're getting you're angry. Like, yeah, I was like, finally, I get that. finally, I get you're it, scored. But then that, you're like, you're not, you're not celebrating because of that, not because. But it's a release of tension, yeah, that more yeah, than anything, I mean, yeah. you know. So what do you think was up with Zayic or Zayic, however you pronounce him? What, 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 what was I up with I think it's probably the, the noise from the outside because he's been getting a few pelters yeah. because he's not been living up to yeah, the yeah, expectations. Yeah, but I agree. He hadn't been. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, what players are like. And plus the fact, by the way, it's an interesting one. Not in the, his African nation squad as well, wasn't that? Is it? Fell out with the manager. Yeah, fell out with the manager. Yeah. It's a strange one that as well. However, his goal, you're absolutely right. The goal at Brighton, there was a, a, a it was very strange. Well, at you, the you, very best, you'd call it subdued. But you and might, then he scores a wonder yeah, goal. But you the, might oh. think that the goal against Brighton maybe was just, you know what? That's more like it. Yeah, that's what I'm here to do. You know, like yeah, maybe but then he walked off arguing with Lukaku, didn't he? I think it was more Lukaku, Half-time. maybe like arguing about you know um, play the ball inside instead of into the channel, maybe. But that that that's fine with me, that sort of stuff. But oh, his next goal, which he put in the what the goal. stanch against them goal. Spurs, so is it that that superb, superb. I mean, we were talking about it, and then we're actually thinking, you know, can the keeper move for it? But oh, it just no, dipped. No, no, I'm with you. It dipped right at the end. Brilliant goal. Uh, so he's left and completed a loan move to Sevilla. <laughs> Until the end of the season, there's no option to buy, no loan fee, but the Spanish club will cover the strikers' wages. So let's have a look. 79 goals in 269 games for Manchester United. That is that is really good, isn't it? Give me it again. One, 76. One in 79 three. in 269. 79. Yeah. I think one in three is good. Yeah. Good. One in three and a half. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah one, I think... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, since so joining in 2015, 50, 56 of those in the Premier League. So 56 Premier League, yeah. Um, how, so we're, we're assessing his time at Old Trafford. We're saying, yeah, it could have been a lot better. Yeah? But then, United yeah. have struggled, haven't they? Well, absolutely. Uh, y- you'd say, <clears throat> has it been a massively successful um, transfer? The answer would have to be no. But then at the same time, Manchester United haven't been massively yeah. successful. So they're going and I think with Martial, he's probably um, <laughs> seen Sancho come in. He's seen these players playing before him that they're struggling themselves and he's still not getting starts. So maybe he's thinking, you know what, I want Sancho, out of here. Sancho's I want struggling out. though, isn't he? Of course yeah. he is. And do you know who else I think is struggling? He's getting games, but Hudson Adoy, he's not the player I thought. Mm. He's not proved it yet to me. By the way, I, I'll make a statement. Around. The best player at United in the last month or so has been McTominay. Uh, he has been. Yeah, I tell you, he's been, he's been, he's been superb. I, 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 I <coughs> liken him to Fletcher. Remember when yes. Fletcher got in the team? Fletcher was brilliant. Getting yeah. but, and but, then, but, then he was brilliant. Fergie's first name uh, in the sheet. Fletcher was brilliant. Whenever he used to play against Fletcher, couldn't get near him. First yeah. touch, passing, always moved the ball well. And yeah. I think, like I said to you um, a couple of weeks ago about Matt Tomney, maybe he hasn't got the the the, the name yeah. that 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 fries to people but he's an outstanding player Correct. gets the ball back can spray it can yeah. score can run with the ball 
So I like him a lot. What about Jesse then? Does he need to push for a move? Has he got in you know, I feel sorry for him. On? I feel sorry for him because Jesse Lingard, for me, will want to go to West Ham. Yeah. But if you're Manchester United, no way you're letting him go do to you, your rival. You're not I letting him go to your that, rival. You're right, Gabby. If my, champ, Champions League rivals. You're not like, letting I'm, Lingard if go West to West Ham. Ham. Well, I'm you, if West Ham was sitting maybe 12th in the yes, league, that be, move, be would, there be on, that move yep. would be on. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure. I, listen, I hope Jesse wants to go to West Ham because they said you're straight in the side, didn't he? Davy Moy, straight in. Yeah. Yeah. He was brilliant. He Absolutely was. brilliant. So why didn't he go back and kick up a fuss saying, no, I've got to go, I've got to go. I think he thought he was going to get back in the United I, I think at the start of the season, he probably fancied himself to, to get more game time. But when you've seen the season go on now, Pogba's been injured a lot yeah. and he's still not getting started. What's wrong with him, by he's the still, way? He's, he's, he's got an injury, Pogba. But he's, yeah, he's, what's that injury? I'm Two broken sure. legs. Well, he's you been look, out for ages, you look, at, you look at Jesse and you look how, how far down the pecking order he is. Yeah. Right? I mean, whether it's Sancho... Um, you know, Cavani, Ronaldo, I mean, Pogba's obviously injured. You know, Greenwood, I, I just think he's now, now's the time he has to move. He's got to go and play. I understand at the start of the season, though, because he's done well at West Ham. He's probably thinking, you know what, the manager's saying I've done well. I've got a chance here to try and push Pogba Fernandez in that number eight role. Mm. But it's not happened. So now he should be thinking, this month I have to leave. If they're not going to let me go to West Ham and they want the 10 million that Newcastle are probably willing to pay as a loan fee. <laughs> Then he has to go there, go and play some football because West Ham will be dying for Jesse Lingard, but Jesse Lingard will not be going there because mm. what if he goes and gets five, six, seven goals and West Ham get top four above Manchester United? You know, you'd be the last well, stop against Manchester yeah, United. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but, but Donny van der Beek potentially going to Spurs. No way. It's, it's the exact same thing. You, 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 and especially with the, with the COVID situation and players missing games, Manchester United are going to want to keep a big squad anyway. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.